Grant fires a long ball. Hughes he takes on the defence six again. Oh, Grant's going to kick out there. Don't worry about what tackle it is. Forget it. Forget the tackle count. Kick it to Xavier. What a piece of football this was by the Melbourne Storm. And we spoke pre-game about this, about these players going out and, and expressing themselves. This was a six to go. This, this was... A six again called by the referee. Yeah, and as a creative player, this is what you want. Not the second guess. So even though we heard the six to go, he saw it and kicked over the top. It's a brave play. Because if he misses, I can just imagine Craig Bellamy <laughs> on Monday doing the video session. That is that is a gutsy play. Left to Wakeham and now Burton and Coates put pressure on the outside man and you can just forget about even chasing because Xavier Coates will streak away Naden game in chase but Coates once he caught that was always going to score and it's 30 nil now see Burton digs right into the line and throws a looping long ball which just puts so much pressure on his outside man and Xavier Coates no one no one was going to run him down. He's a flyer. Xavier Coates, like I said at the start, he's extended his time down here in Melbourne. He's enjoying himself. Last play for Melbourne. Hughes, brothers. This one does get through. Tracy can't clean it up. Having a nightmare with his hands. And Coates plants it down. Melbourne back in the lead against the Warriors. Jerome Hughes gets the kick right. The spaces were awfully wide there for the Warriors, making it easy for Jerome Hughes to squeeze it through. And then Ed Kosi, does he try and knock it dead with his hands or he should have just fallen on it? No, he kicked it, missed it. And Xavier Coates over the top for the try. <laughs> Fusi poking his nose through the line. Pappenhausen's there again. Grubbers. Lewis might have been offside. Pertz was okay though. And he gets a room service bounce. They're just too good. They, they really are. I know the Warriors have been their own worst enemy in the second half. But the, the Storm are too good. And they're good enough to take advantage of whatever the, the Warriors have offered them. And that space and time and this... Brandon Smith just holds up the pass for Felice Kafusi back on the inside for Pappenhausen. Great play from Pappenhausen. Lewis dropped out. He was fractionally in front of Pappenhausen. Xavier Coates unmarked, just had to wait and had plenty of time to wait to get the good bounce. Didn't have to rush the situation. That's a great kick from Pappenhausen. Now Pappenhausen over the top. What a pass that was. Coates. He gets another one. Ryan Pappenhausen scoring tries, setting up tries, converting tries, and the 50 will come up here surely in a few moments' time. Yeah, that's enough, Ryan Pappenhausen. Go and have an early shower. He's done everything tonight. He's been fantastic. He just goes down the short side, realises the Warriors are out on their feet. He just lets it all unfold. He's got time. He lets him make it all, all the Warriors players make the defensive decision for him. They all come up and in and he just waits. Beautiful hand, beautiful timing and spatial awareness. He goes over the top. 
and a nice finish by Coates. He can't believe it. He got another one untouched. Nice with Roberts Hughes kicking for Coates again, turning Kosey around. How does this one turn out? Coates is there! He's got four! Xavier Coates scores three tries in eight minutes and has four for the game. Well, Fado, he didn't have to work that hard for the first three, but boy, he had to do some work to get that one. Absolutely flew past Ed Kosey. The kick from Jerome Hughes was pinpoint. Just watch it as they move the ball to the right. It was a planned move. There it is. He's standing deep enough to give himself time. He gives him 10 start. Kosi gave up just at the wrong time. Didn't push himself hard enough for the final five metres as Xavier Coates blew past him. Ball's getting to the corner. What a put down. What a try. Deception. Harry Grant. Harry Grant within a couple of minutes of the line. Sit on the end of the Coates. He's got a four-pointer. It'll be eight or nine minutes in Newcastle. Still, a, still haven't had a tackle. They're already ten points down. You said well-oiled machine. It's uh, it's five-star quality. They just have struck right across the park, and it's a lovely bit of deception at the scrum play where Pappenhausen and Munster swung hard to that left-hand side. Hughes and Grant out to this right-hand side, and then three, four, five Newcastle defenders in there around Harry Grant. And the strength of the young dummy half gets through the tackle. And Xavier Coates, well, he, he's having a great old time in this Melbourne jumper. Smith, Hughes, look at them run around the defence here. Smith to Coates. He set sights, he changed his direction. He's got another one. It's like shilling peas for Xavier Coates. He's never seen the sun shine brighter. Nine tries at his new club. Yeah, watch the work here from Harry Grant and Brandon Smith and just how they lock in the Knights' middle defenders. Grant just a couple of steps out of dummy half. Brandon Smith goes deep into the line. And just some incredible ball movement and some soft defence. And the timing of Kafusi, the pass from Remus Smith, and the big right foot step, bang on the inside there. And Bradman best is overcompensating. Ponga went past the footy. And that's just that's too easy. It really is. Smith, Hughes, Smith. Oh, it's Coates. It's another one. It's another one. It's a trot. It is a trot to the corner. Like he shut it right down like a, a drag racer. He's got four last week. Now he gets another three. Yeah, just watch the work from Grant out of dummy half again. So he just brings that Newcastle defensive line forward in the lovely long passes. Jerome Hughes, great work. Xavier Coates, he won't get an easier one than that today, I wouldn't imagine, but great pass there. Munster puts in a kick for Xavier Coates, fly side takes and scores. Yep. Melbourne strike early in the second half. Yeah, yeah. Munster just comes in, puts a little dink in. There's his high jumper, Xavier Coates, up above the pack. We're going to get some players around him, help. Well, he's never going to compete with Xavier Coates, so you've got to get some players around ball went up. Schuster just turns, doesn't chase. Even Ruben Garrick sprinted the threat. Get across there just in case. One on one he's always going to get it. you just got to get there just in case to clean up. Munster now. And out for Jerome Hughes and out of Kafusi. Quick hands. Beautiful football. Coates a try. Melbourne on the board. They go right. And some lovely hands by that right edge of the Melbourne Storm. And attacking a man, as we mentioned, and Billy touched on earlier too, Angus Crichton in the centres, just unfamiliar position in defence. Backing off, backing off. And they created the overlap on the outside for Xavier Coates. 
They, 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 they'd rare, there was periods there, they were unbeatable down there. But Amy Park with all the great players in the team. Great movement, Coates, Xavier Coates! Oh, this is touch and go. I think he thinks he scored. Certainly his body was over the line. It's a matter of whether it was on the ground. Yeah, he's a great finisher. And he feels as though he's nailed this. This is beautiful ball movement from the Melbourne Storm. They squeezed up the Raiders defenders, got them engaged, and managed to get it to the flyer, Xavier Coates on the outside. Beautiful work there to get the ball to the outside, and Xavier Coates is a renowned finisher. Ooh, he's there. He gets it over. Harry Grant, she looks dangerous. Munster back on the inside. Now to Hughes, a kick over the top. It's a great Melbourne Storm try. That is Melbourne's best stuff. Well, sometimes your opponent just comes up with something to which there is no defence. There is no defence to this. They take advantage of the quick play the ball with Harry Grant. Munster recognises it. Hughes supports. Here's your playmakers through the middle of the field in a very short space. Watch this. Grand out. Munster supports. Hughes supports. First thought, kick. How do you do that? First thought, kick. Steady himself, balance, and kick for Xavier Coates. Pinpoint accuracy. There's no defence to that play. Right hands. Here's an overlap. Chris up against Sebe. Sebe beat him cold. They're all there. Munster's there. Coach for three. Coach for the line. Yes! They've hit them hard. Melbourne with a wonderful try. Yeah, great ball movement coming out of trouble. Sebe just backs himself. Poor miss there from Chris. And then watch the athleticism here of Xavier Coates. We spoke about it in the pre-game. And look at the gadget arms. He gets there. They back the storm. Marion Seve, he, he does a great job here to set Xavier Coates up. Gets the ball to Munster on the inside. And then he just dishes it off to the flyer, Xavier Coates. But Marion Seve, he was only on a train and trial at the start of the year through the preseason. He's had some horrific injuries. But he's playing the best footy he's ever played in his life. And he's in the final series. He's got Melbourne back into this one.